Uh, CPTPP, Malaysia signed on uh, back in September of uh, last year. Growing opposition to this uh, block, though. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I had the uh, um, opportunity to present uh, the CP CPTPP to the cabinet recently, and we made a uh, announcement that we reaffirm our commitment uh, to what we have done. We have ratified CPTPP. Uh, there are obviously um, issues that were raised uh, by various uh, groups, uh, and we have actually addressed that. Um, and a lot of actions have been taken uh, by the ministry, by the government to mitigate some of the concerns. Uh, so we are very much committed uh, to participate in CPTPP. Uh, we, at uh, the cabinet, we reaffirmed this uh, two weeks ago, and the prime minister himself has signed all the necessary uh, administrative uh, uh, agreements uh, to ensure that exports and imports can continue uh, under the uh, what we have ratified in November. So, Tunku, you're saying there is there will not be a re-evaluation of Malaysia's taking part in CPTPP. Correct, Martin. Uh, we, uh, the, the new government, uh, is committed uh, to continue uh, with CPTPP. Uh, okay. A lot of concerns we have presented uh, to the cabinet uh, have been addressed, and therefore we will continue uh, with our participation uh, in CPTPP. Minister, just allied to that, can you give us a sense of uh, where FDI flows into Malaysia are going to be heading uh, this year and uh, what longer term capital is doing uh, with regard to that? Uh, because Malaysia has really been a big beneficiary of supply chain uh, redistribution, especially uh, regions uh, like uh, Penang and Malaysia. What's on the horizon for FDI? Yeah, we're very... Uh... Right, um, Sri. The Penang has really benefited uh, from the industry there, which is the ENE industry. Uh, we've seen tremendous growth. In fact, ENE industry contributes six percent uh, to our GDP, uh, and we are one of the focus for the ministry is to ensure that we continue to build resilience and continue to have larger reinvestment itself from these key sectors. So we're looking at quality investments. Uh, there are five sectors uh, that we believe will continue to spur growth for Malaysia and, and focusing on FDI coming in, uh, mainly in pharmaceuticals, E&E, &E, chemical, digital economy, and also as uh, in, in aero, uh, aero, what do you call it, <laughs> aerospace. Yeah, so, but what's important as well, Sri, um, when I came in here, one of the key uh, issues raised to me by various chambers and industries is to ensure that Malaysia continue to be competitive. And one of the areas that we must improve is upon ease of doing business. Uh, so that's another focus area uh, for, for me and the ministry.